Hello guys, I am Ravi Paliwal and today we are going to start with Wireshark Lab 3 and in this lab we are going to cover the DNS part of uh, these labs and uh, we are going to uh, see that how we can capture the DNS packets in the Wireshark and we are also going to learn some commands uh, to deal with DNS queries. Okay, so let's go to our manual and what is it saying that you have uh, you should have the knowledge of local dns servers dns caching dns records and messages and type field in the dns record okay so uh, don't worry i will uh, cover up the things uh, in the in this lecture okay so we are going to deal with first uh, the commands so uh, the commands you can use only when you have set up the environment variable i'll show you that how you can set the environment variable so you will just search for environment variables and you will click on environment variable and open the path field and you can see that in the path field i have added the wireshark directory to the path uh, you can also add the directory to, to the path by just browsing it or you can uh, simply copy and paste the path here after setting a path you will be able to use the commands uh, in the command prompt so let us open the command prompt and check that uh, whether we are able to use the nslookup command or not because i have already set up uh, set it up the path so it is working okay so let's close for now and let's come to the ppt and let us understand that what is the dns so dns is uh, called domain name server and it is used to provide the naming to the ip addresses so why we need this because uh, we are using the uh, just uh, website names and we are able to find that website we just enter the web address in the browser and we'll uh, get access to that website but you know that every server has its own ip address and without our ip we can't reach any server okay so what happens in backend suppose you have uh, made a request to access student.cse.dtu.in and then what happens that there is a dns resolver or a local name server is, is there uh, which try to resolve the dns query and finds the try to find the ip address of that requested uh, page okay so if it is present or locally cached so what uh, name server a here given name server a caches the answer so if uh, we recently used that website so uh, in our local name server or our system the dns uh, the ip address of that website is cached so it uh, returns from here if it doesn't have that uh, ip address of that website uh, then it uh, make request to higher level of dns okay so there is hierarchy in dns and after the local name server there are uh, we can say recursive query, uh, query makers and we uh, we uh, send requests recursively, uh, recursively to the hierarchy of DNS server and we get uh, the response uh, in uh, again in recursive manner and we get finally the IP address of the website and we are able to access that website. Okay, so there are uh, various kinds of DNS server are there. Uh, there, uh, there are root DNS server that is the top top level dns server we can say topmost level dns server and there are 13 dns uh, root level dns server are in the world and they are holding uh, the ip addresses of various dns servers which are we call top level dns server top level dns servers are like dot com dot in uh, dot uh, we can say dot com dot in and there are many others we can say dot tv dot org and many others so th there is hierarchy in dns server okay so uh, this hierarchy you can also find on the internet so let us uh, come to the command again the command prompt so we'll open the command prompt first and we'll try to learn the nslookup command so when we 
make a request ns lookup so what we will get that uh, we get the default dns server we are using and its ip address we got okay we will press control plus c to exit and the second command is we can find the ip uh, we can make a query to default dns server uh, for requesting a website we make request to my college website spsu.se.in okay so i have made request so you can see that the website address is this and its ip address is this so to validate this ip address let us uh, access this website with ip address so i have copied the ip address and pasted here you can see that i have pasted this ip address here okay uh, my net is quite slow so it is not loading but uh, i'll show you later it is uh, loading in the background you can see that i have accessed my website with this uh, with this ip address okay so in this way you can find ip address of any website using ns lookup and then third command is uh, to find the name server which uh, this website is using using ns lookup okay so you will write ns lookup then you will write the type this is option okay type is equals to ns then you will write the web address so you can see that uh, there was a query timeout but you can see that uh, spsu.se.in is having two name server ns2.siteground.net and ns1.siteground.net so in this way you can find the information about uh, this website so there is another command uh, is there for uh, making uh, request to a particular dns server okay so if we want that uh, we are uh, we want to make the query to ns1.siteground.net okay so we will make the query ns lookup then we enter address of website then we enter the dns server ad, uh, uh, name okay name uh, name we will enter then we see that what the server is shown as unknown because server name is may, may be not given but the ns1.siteground.net address is this okay this address is uh, of this dns server and we get the website and its ip address which is same as this okay so in this way you can utilize the ns lookup command okay so i'll close this and that's all uh, given in this uh, documentation i have explained you the ns lookup command okay this is general structure of ns lookup command ns lookup option one and you can also provide another option host to find which is our web address and a particular dns server which uh, if we want to specify we can also specify okay then second command is ip config okay ip config is uh, a command which is uh, used to uh, find uh, tcp ip information including our pc's uh, dns server and adapter type and everything uh, networking info uh, networking related information of your pc so let us try the command ip config first we clear screen and type ip config and see that uh, whether it is working or not so i have just type out uh, ip config you can see that uh, it is showing the wireless lan adapter media disconnected because i am not using lan so i am using wi-fi so you can see that wi-fi uh, ipv6 address and temporary temporary address link local address and gateway and default uh, uh, subnet mask and etc all information are show, uh, shown here so you can uh, use this command uh, ip config slash all to get all the information okay so there are information given about windows ip configuration 
so first information is host name that is indicating your pc name okay so i have set it my pc name is this so this is my host name and primary dnx suffix is empty in my case because uh, my laptop's ip doesn't uh, provided a dns address so it is uh, empty in case uh, this is your server if this was uh, this uh, is your server then it uh, uh, possibly provided a dns uh, dns suffix okay node type mix means uh, uh, it indicates that your device can be used as a, a peer to peer or a client server architecture both okay ip routing enabled means your system is not uh, working as a, a router now okay if you share hotspot with uh, anyone then uh, this this will be enabled and wins proxy is something uh, a older uh, protocol that is uh, used in windows to proxy the server okay so that is not of use for now okay then there is a lan information uh, which we are not using so we come back to wireless lan adapter wi-fi okay so i'll explain these all things uh, using the ppt i have uh, made short notes on these all things so let's go to the ppt part and you can see that uh, wireless lane adapter this is my main wi-fi network adapter and it has ipv6 address uh, given a temporary ipv6 address given and a ipv4 address given is that okay uh, then uh, we can see that it is configured to use dhcp yeah, means dynamic host configuration uh, protocol which provides a uh, ip address dynamically to the host okay to obtain uh, its ip address and settings we use the dhcp okay then ipv6 address is uh, provided to us and then temporary ipv6 address we have seen uh, already then uh, link local ipv6 address is used for the communication within local network okay then ipv4 address you know that uh, this is a simple ip address their subnet mask uh, is something that is used to define the local network okay so this information you can also find the deep information about this uh, on the google okay so lease obtain and lease expires is something that uh, you have connected to wi-fi network and till this duration you can use this wi-fi net network after that your system do something that re-establish the network okay the default gateway is ip address which is typically the router's ip address okay and the dhcp server is uh, the ip address of dhcp means dynamic host control protocol server responsible for assigning network settings okay uh, and then uh, you can see that the dns servers are provided here we'll see in the command prompt so you can see that these are the dns server we are using okay so this is the local dns server these, these two are the local dns server uh, which are uh, stored here means we are using the cached, D cached dns and this is my network's dns server so there are various kind of uh, dns server uh, present in the hierarchy okay so next what we have in the manual we'll see that next command is the ip config slash display dns so this will display the every dns server which uh, we are using uh, which uh, are cached, cached in our system okay so let us clear the screen and we'll find the display dns so you can see that these dns records are cached in our system and you can see the time to leave is also given that time to leave is uh, providing us the time uh, after that time these dns are not uh, no longer be cached and these are cleared okay so you can see that record name and the record type and the record type are numbers which are uh, uh, representing some value you can also find this on google okay so my agenda is to explain uh, how to use these all commands okay so you can see that we are stored uh, or cached the this dns in our system 
now let us move on next command the next command is ipconfig slash flush dns so if we want to flush dns uh, which are cached in our system so sorry i have opened vs code so if we want to flush the dns we will run uh, this command okay uh, so we will run this command so successfully flush the dns resolver cache so again we run the display dns command then you can see that there are no cached dns available in our system now okay the next command is uh, so we are done with the ip config uh, basics basic command so next we are going to trace the dns with wireshark okay so for tracing the dns what uh, here provided is that we have to empty the dns cache so we have already uh, cleared the dns cache and uh, we are also uh, said that we have to clear the browser cache so we can clear browser cache from settings and privacy and then uh, we are clear browsing data then we cache image and files okay so in this way we can clear the browser cache so we have cleared the browser cache then we'll open wireshark so i have opened the wireshark and set the wireshark ip address is equals to your ip address okay so in this wireshark we will uh, find uh, first we find our ip address so we write ip config okay and uh, we'll see that our ipv at ipv4 address is this so this is our systems ip address we copied this and we place this in wireshark okay so we'll first select the traffic through wi-fi and ip dot address is equals to okay so we have applied this ip address okay uh, then next step is the filter uh, 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 we have applied the filter then we have to start packet capture okay so we have applied the filter first stop this already capturing packet and we have to start the packet capture we have started the packet capture uh, we have to visit this page okay so we are going to visit this page and after that we we should stop our packet capture this page is loaded so we should stop our packet capture now uh, we have to see the dns request in this okay so let us find the dns request so you can see that uh, there are tcp requests here so dns requests uh, are those four requests and we can also specify here and dns i think there was i have already applied so that is okay we, we have also uh, found the dns queries so we will open this dns query okay so uh, we can see that this dns query is using the udp protocol okay because at the top of dns uh, uh, query we are saying the udp protocol because it is uh, using the udp protocol and default uh, port is 53 okay uh, we can see that in the dns query we are having transaction id and flags are there there is a flag uh, this recursion desired uh, flag is uh, uh, raised okay that means this dns query is uh, not able to resolve that website's ip in our local address so it is uh, giving the response in uh, response in uh, packet number uh, sorry the uh, packet number 4 so in this we can see that this is tcp and uh, we are no, uh, not getting here anything so we can see that uh, it is response number 4 was there here okay so uh, this dns query okay this dns query 
made a request and it doesn't found anything in the local DNS cache. Okay. So it made again recursive query because recursion desired flag is raised and it uh, next response is in four. Okay, so we have opened the four and it is also uh, made the recursion desire query. Okay, so we can see that server can do recursive queries. Uh, he is also raised here. So th uh, this server make recursive query to another server and we can see that next request is in two given here. So next request is in this. Then again recursion was desired. Okay. So query also we can see that uh, we are making the query to uh, query uh, using this link and this is type a query and class it is falling in the root DNS class dot in okay and uh, there are uh, this is again making uh, query uh, it is showing that the response is in the fourth number packet and in this way we'll finally uh finding the finding the uh, re response in query number one second there should be a, a dns query response here we possibly found the dns address in this query answers is there and you can see that the answer is in the packet number four and we can see that the dns answer we got from uh, uh, recursively going through this server then this server then this server and then this server uh, gave us the result of ip address is this okay so we can also uh, find this website uh, we have uh, uh, search for here using that IP address. Okay, so in this way we can trace the DNS query in the YSR. Okay, so let us go to the documentation again and what is here. Now let's play with NS lookup and what here they are doing that they are uh, telling you that uh, DNS query is uh, using which protocol so we have already seen that user datagram protocol means udp they are using for resolving queries so dns is uh, queries are made uh, above the uh, udp okay then uh, with ns lookup we already tried the type command okay or we already tried uh, this command also uh, in this we make the uh, query with custom dns server which we Bond. So we have covered with uh, our DNS part and uh, happy learning guys. You can also learn more things from the Google by searching simple simple things uh, like what are the options available in the NS lookup and you can also try and error and learn. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you for being patient and uh, learning with me. Thank you.